Do you think though, if it was the transfer portal today and there wasn't as much rigidness around it where, Hey, you have to go sit out a year, you might've ended up pulling the trigger and it could have, you know, completely derailed your storybook career. Yeah, very much so. I think, you know, after my first year, year and a half, I, I graduated early. So my time, my Congrats. time, so, yeah, my, my time yeah. was a little bit, you know, different on it, but what, you know, getting there and getting to A&M and the way college sports were at the time is that year of sitting out was a full playing year yeah. that you normally wouldn't have if you were, you know, staying at the school you were at. So I really think that, you know, if the portal or if it would have been open, it would have definitely given me an opportunity to go, you know, speak to, that's what the kids are doing yeah. now. They're getting a chance to go in the portal. It's not necessarily that they're leaving, but they get a chance to go test their work that they have at other places. And I think that's a big thing. Um, you have a lot of people that recruit you whenever you're in high school mm -hmm. and you commit to somebody and seeing them when they're recruiting you, they're obviously going home about you being there. They want you to come to your school. And when you get to school, you're very much thrown into the mix of the other 120 guys on the football team that are there. So you don't get the time with this or that. And you really have your position coach who you're talking to. And that guy who recruited you, you know, may, you may not have very much interaction with, yep. you know, you could get recruited by a defensive line, like a defensive line coach who recruits your area. And, and, and that's the guy you've known for your two years that you're in college. And then he's on the other side of the ball. You may see him a couple things here, but the guy that you built a relationship with is no longer there. So the transfer portal now gives guys the opportunity to go and, um, you know, really test their worth a little bit. So for me, I think. You know, it was something that I would have maybe pursued uh, because I was interested in playing football and baseball at the same yeah. time. Someone did not recruit you, though, correct? Um, you were almost um, thrown into a fresh situation, and so you probably had to really stand out in the offseason practices and really earn that starting spot. And sometimes you can even say, and we'll touch on NIL after this, but in terms of the transfer portal, those rigidness, as difficult as it can be, was a good thing for your development because you had to be able to work through and show that adversity and be, hey, I'm fourth string, but by the time season starts, I'm first string. And then I'm a Heisman winner. Like you really were able to climb the rates and your determination in dealing with adversity was tremendous. Yeah, I think I got um, a very, you know, whenever Coach Sherman and our coaches before someone came in, um, you know, you don't know how that transition is going to be. Luckily, I had a guy by the name of Cliff Kingsbury who was- Legend, love Cliff. It was yeah. unbelievable. And a guy who had recruited me in high school he was like i'm at university of houston i want to come watch you practice but i don't have a scholarship for you so i just have heard great things about you and i wanted to come out of my way to come watch you practice and then that guy walks into our building um you know a year and a half later and he's like i'm going to be your coach and you know i had sat and had a conversation with him a little bit about here's how i was feeling here's what i was thinking about and he just asked for you know some trust and what the system was that it fits me in the way that i play football and luckily I think more than anything, and this, you know, goes for sports or it goes for education or anything that if you get a teacher or you get a coach or you get somebody who truly believes in who you are as a human being, who you are as a person and sees something inside of you that they have the ability to pull out, um, it's amazing what it can do to change your life and what it can do to leave a lasting memory on somebody, you know, who sees something great in you, maybe when you don't at that point in time. Yeah. <laughs> confidence is everything. And they talk about how important it is and nobody's going to be able to secure your confidence like a true mentor, a true coach, a true teacher. And um, that was beautifully said.